right? There is a monster under my bed. My dreams have always been sprightly, but lately they are nightly tinged with dread. To you this may scream lunacy, but I bet between the confident confines of your head, there lies a steadfast niggling, a wiggling boogeyman with no shame, and what's his name? Bane! You want to live forever! <laughs> I do. That fame monster is a mongoloid conglomerate coagulating my blood into little, like me, gold-plated platelets. Let's face it, we have a basic inclination to be appreciated, congratulated. That fame monster is a tall poppy appropriation without a propos to our institutionalized polite natures. Takes that inclination to make it or break your proportions so that we grow up craving adoration, idolization. Now I wonder, how long has this monster been living in my head, I mean, under my bed? From the time my kindy teacher taught us to share, show and tell. From the time my sister and I reenacted the Miss USA pageant and asked the impossible of our parents to crown one winner. From the time of teapot magazines and reality TV, YouTube views and Facebook likes, from my first delight of performing a poem to an audience. But audience, oh my adorable, audaciously awesome audience. We all know what happens when the fame monster convinces us to bow to the masses. Suddenly we're at the dentist to crown us with a perfect smile. And we're walking miles of perilously high pedestal heels and everyone wants to be in them. And somehow our sheer humanity evolves into celebrity. Our favorite frivolity, our daily insanity. True story after a Red Hot Chili's concert. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme give fleas, sweet, sweaty underwear. Ringing into my mouth. Oh. Now he's inside me. Breaking news feed, another celebrity, oh indeed. <laughs> Fame monster feeds. And you might think, well, I'll never be that crazy or crazy. But his decree, like me, like me, like me, is more than just a whisper from under my bed. But between the confident confines of my head, rearing his ugly after every performance delivery. So I wonder how much of that monster is pop culture's Frankenstein or merely human nature. Yeah, I wonder if we were to turn to our daily life cohabitants and show and tell them how monstrously amazing they make our moments by sharing their being. Maybe a sad memory or a wee victory or a smile so that walking in our own shoes suddenly seems worthwhile. If we do this, will the fame monster cap his crown canines and give us a slobbery goodnight kiss and sleep for us to dream? Okay. <laughs>